there can be three types of abruption the revealed type in which there is bleeding per vaginum concealed type in which bleeding per vaginum is not present if we see clinically there will be tenderness uterine tenderness will be there the maternal vitals will show us that the patient is going into hypovolemic shock and in ultrasound we can find a retroplacental collection so especially in concealed type the suspicion should be there then only we will be able to make a correct diagnosis and in mixed type there is a combination of two as that is there will be bleeding per vagina per vagina but the bleeding the amount of bleeding will not correspond to the uh, amount that to, to the deterioration of the symptoms if even if there is a severe grade of abruption the bleeding might be just minimal so we have to take into consideration that there could be all any of these three types of abruption so as you can see in this diagram the first one is showing that the placental separation has happened but because there is no uh, then but the bleeding is not happening because the placent the membranes have not separated here in the second type it is also called as marginal abruption where the margin of the placenta has separated and the blood is trickling down per vagina in concealed type the hemorrhage is confined within the uterine cavity and detachment of placenta can be complete also and it is often very severe in revealed type blood drains through the cervix and placental detachment is more likely that it is incomplete and in revealed type the complications are less and fewer now grades there are four grades in which placental abruption can be classified one is asymptomatic when the patient does not have any symptoms throughout the pregnancy but at the time of delivery there is a retroplacental clot seen after the placental delivery grade 1 is when patient present with vaginal bleeding there is uterine tenderness but there is no fetal and maternal compromise in grade 2 the bleeding may may or may not be there and placental separation is severe enough to cause fetal compromise which can either be seen in ctg as decreased variability or decelerations and obviously there will be a visible retroplacental clot after placental delivery grade 3 again the bleeding may or may not be there there will be obvious signs of fetal compromise or it they can also present with fetal death and in this the even maternal signs of hypomolybia will start appear Thank <music> you.